thousand succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm very excited to share with you our wonderful new cactus and succulents that we got from our Cactus and Succulents Society. Now, we've got five new wonderful beauties here. And the one good thing about the Cactus Society, it's always a way for guys to bring in extra plants that they want to gift away or even to sell on or swap as well, which is great. And these are the new stunners that we've got. Now, first of all, these were gifted to us by our wonderful friend Patricia and also some wonderful plants as well from our wonderful friend Stephen. And first of all, this is a little tephro cactus articulatus. And uh, one thing I love about this particular cactus is that it has lovely sort of papery spines. Now we have one of these tephro cactus articulatus already. We have one in our polytunnel and it's grown into a wonderful mound. It's, it's got quite large. We got it as a small cut in a few years ago and it's gone into a lovely, beautiful plant now and it's growing really well in the polytunnel. But this is lovely because this one was from our friend Patricia, so very special and um, very happy to, to grow this here. Gorgeous little uh, tephro cactus, part of the Apuntioid family. Absolutely gorgeous papery spine. So that's the first one. The second one now, this is very special. This was also gifted to us by um, Patricia. And this is a Neo Henricia Cibeti. And it is part of the Mazem family, the Mazem Briamathaceae. Oh, what a tongue twister. That most people would be. Uh, be familiar with the Mazems as being the Lithops and the Conophytums. And this is a similar one as well. And it's it's gorgeous, lovely sort of shape to it, all the lovely little stem, little uh, leaf segments or club shaped with a lovely sort of pink hue on the top of them. Absolutely gorgeous. And obviously it's a South African succulent that grows at this time of year in the in the fall autumn time. And also flowers too. And there's a little flower there, and I have to say, the other the other night it was flowering because it's a night bloomer, and I managed to take a photo of it, so I'll show you what this this plant looks like when it was blooming the other night. Beautiful little white bloom on it, gorgeous. And as I say, the the blooms open of a night time, and I was able to capture this one. I think it's just finished blooming now, so happy I got it when it bloomed. Absolutely beautiful plant there and not one that's seen very often, Neo Henricia Sibetii. So that's a lovely one to add to our Mesembryomethacee collection. And then here we have a gorgeous agave and this is from our wonderful friend Stephen, also from the Cactus Society. And we have quite a lot of different types of agaves in our collection. We have many small ones like this and we've also got some very large ones. As you can see here, these we've had out in our yard, but we've brought them in because I'm protecting them from the rain now. And obviously they need to dry out before the winter comes around. But these are our very, very large. I'll just show you that the size of my hand, very large agaves. And we have many more different ones, smaller ones in our polytunnel too. And this one is agave creme, creme brulee. Absolutely gorgeous. One again, that's not commonly seen. Gorgeous sort of cream outer edge in there, lovely dark little teeth on the edges and a lovely green in the middle. That's not a flower, that's come from the other one. And uh, here we have a pup coming through the base as well, so it's having a little pup. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to be putting this into our big main polytunnel with all the other agaves and it's going to overwinter very well in there. Very, very beautiful indeed. And uh, then here we have a lovely, another lovely succulent. And just look at that, guys. I showed the size of it in my hand. It's huge. And it is coming into amazing flower, flower bud there. Loads of flower buds. Very gorgeous succulent. And what's really special about this one is we have a couple already in our polytunnel, very similar to this, Crassula monoriana. And um, we have one that's in a lovely hanging basket that's hanging down all the lovely stems and it's also coming into bud. And uh, we also have another one as well in the polytunnel on the table, which is also coming into bud as well. Lots of little buds. So that's Crassula monoriana. But this one, although it's very similar, it's a much larger version of that one. As you can see, compared to my hand, it's very large sort of leaf segments and it's absolutely gorgeous. I have to say that's the size of it. 
white very beautiful so this is a type of crassula manoriana but obviously it's a much larger leaf form so it's a different one to the other two we've got but obviously similar in shape i don't know the exact id of this one obviously it wouldn't be crassula manoriana because it's a larger leafed variety but it's obviously crassula and um if anyone does know the id of this larger specimen do please let me know happy to see it's in bird and that's going to be going in the polytunnel with all of our other succulents as well and very gorgeous and then here last of all this is a euphorbia mammillaris commonly known as the corn cob cactus even though it's not a cactus it is actually a euphorbia so it's purely a succulent and very happy to receive this this was also gifted to us by patricia and uh, very happy because we have a couple of these corn cob euphorbias already but we have the variegated forms and we have two of them in our polytunnel at the moment and they're sort of growing like snakes they're all twisting over and all branching out they're absolutely awesome so very happy to have the all green one i said this is completely green not variegated like our other two so it's got a lovely new addition it's starting to form a little new branch out there now obviously euphorbias are not cold hardy so although this is going to be in our polyton i'm going to put that with the other ones it's going to have to come into the house very soon as are all our other euphorbias because the nights are starting to drop quite low i think we had seven celsius the other night the euphorbias were okay i just threw some fleece cloth over them so they're they're okay but the nights are starting to drop more so i'm going to have to bring in all these into the house because euphorbias don't like to be ideally kept below 50 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 10 C the odd night where it drops a little bit lower they're fine but uh, obviously not permanently so this is going to be coming into the house with all the others soon this one's going to go into the polytunnel as are all these others because they're all pretty cold hardy as long as they can kept dry just want to mention about Nia Henrichia um, obviously because this is one of the mazems and it's fall autumn growing or flowering I should say I will probably give this a wee little bit of water before the winter time just enough to make sure these don't shrivel up and then I'm going to, going to be keeping it dry but um, obviously because it has been flowering I'm going to be very careful with just one last water with this for the winter the agave will be pretty much okay dry and certainly the tephro cactus so i hope you liked our new additions and not too many but as i always say guys there's always room for one more or a few more and if you have to have if you happen to have a cactus and succulent society near you we live here in belfast in northern Ireland. really good cactus society here and the British Cactus and Succulent Society is pretty much all around the UK as well. And there's also an Irish Cactus and Succulent Society in Dublin. So do, do check them out if you happen to have one near you. By the way, wherever you are in the world, most cactus societies are there around the world as well. It's a great way to meet new people and make new friends and also talk about how you grow your cacti and succulents. On uh, Saturday when we had our meeting, our wonderful friend Brian, he's a Mazem Briamathasee expert and uh, which is one of these and he was doing a, a wonderful presentation and talk on all the lithops and um, the conophytums so you always learn something new and do go and check out your local cactus and succulent society if you have one near you thanks so much for watching guys and for lots more tips and tricks on how you can grow many different types of cacti and succulents then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done and please do click the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos and uh, you can also do check my website out for lots more growing tips on there desertplantsofavalon.com i want to wish you all an amazing cactus and succulent plowered powered I should say not powered powered day